Last year, Tennessee received nearly $74 million in federal relief funding to help private schools rebound from the pandemic. But because of tight federal restrictions on which schools are eligible to apply, just over 10 million of that was awarded. And now Tennessee Governor Bill Lee's administration is trying to figure out what to do with about $60 million that remains in that pot. Uh, we have Tennessee Chalkbeat uh, reporter Marta Aldrich uh, joining us now. She wrote an article about this issue. Marta, good morning. Um, tell me what made you uh, report on this, or what was? Uh, did you get the heads up? Like, hey, wait a second. There's a there's some money left over here. Well, we've all been watching to see how the federal relief money is being spent, uh, whether. It's for public or private schools. Uh, I think the fact that this money went unused uh, by uh, private schools uh, is significant, and $60 million is no small amount. Very true. Uh, so what kept private schools from being able to access the federal funds set aside for them? Well, a number of things, uh, but primarily, a Biden administration rule that private schools that apply should serve a significant share of students from low-income families. The feds set the threshold at 40 percent, which later was dropped to 33 percent following a, a request from Tennessee for more leniency there. But still, most private schools do not meet that threshold for um, serving low-income families. Another issue, federal law disallowed any private school that received a loan under the Small uh, Business Administration's Paycheck Protection Program after December 2020, and many private schools did receive a PPP loan. And finally, um, um, we understand schools have, have have said that the state's application process was more onerous and difficult than an earlier relief package under the Trump administration. So what happens to that leftover money right now? Well, when the money went unused, uh, federal rules required that it be shifted to a discretionary education emergency relief fund overseen by the governor's office. And that fund is much more flexible in how it can dole out money than under the previous federal emergency assistance program for non-public schools. Governor Lee's administration and GOP lawmakers have been hearing from private and independent schools that the untapped funding should not be perceived as a lack of interest or need by private schools. So earlier this week, in a meeting of the governor's committee that oversees federal relief spending, uh, legislative leaders made it clear that they believe private schools should get a second crack at the funds. Uh, from the governor's relief fund instead of using that money for public edu education needs across the, the state. They say that that was the original intent for those funds and that private schools are dealing with many of the same issues as public schools when it comes to learning loss, mental health, and other needs. So um, let's talk about the restrictions that remain on how the money can be spent in this discretionary fund, because that's where it is now, right? Correct. And according to Education Commissioner Penny Schwinn, the money uh, must be used for some educational initiative from pre-K to higher education. Federal law also prohibits that it, it, it cannot be used for private school vouchers, scholarships, or education savings account. Also, all the funds have to be drawn down, spent, or allocated uh, by June 30th of 2024. So that's that's coming fast. Okay, and then um, is there any reason the funds shouldn't go to private schools, Marta? Well, you know, not surprisingly, uh, public school advocates would like to see that 60 million used for public school needs, which were significant even before the pandemic hit. Uh, true. Public schools received about $2.2 billion from the 2020 relief package in, here in Tennessee. But it's also important to note that that distribution was based on the number of low-income families served by public school districts. Um, Democrats here in Tennessee say that if the governor is intent on sticking with this plan to distribute 
this leftover money to private schools, this administration should at least factor in poverty and the number of low-income students being served by a private school applicant. Okay, and so um, who's going to make the final call, and uh, when? what's the timeline to uh, make that final call? Well, ultimately, uh, the governor, but he's been working closely with uh, a financial stimulus, what he calls a financial stimulus accountability group of um, legislative leaders and people in his administration to make these kinds of decisions. And that group has been meeting about every month to discuss these kinds of issues. Um, but now there really is a sense of urgency to come up with a plan because federal law says those, those funds have to be used or obligated by mid-2024. So once, a new, once they make the decision, a new grant program has to be established. They would need to go through another application and award process. They'd need to distribute that money so that schools can figure out how to put it to use by the time that, that deadline arrives. It's a great topic, Marta, and it's uh, very interesting. Can you tell our viewers where um, they can read more about it? Yes, um, we were rec we've reported on that, and we're going to con we're continuing to do reporting on that. They can go to uh, Chalkbeat Tennessee's website, which they can Google and read all of our stories um, about. Um, K-12 education, uh, looking at issues through the lens of equity. Okay, Marta Ulrich, we appreciate you and the work that you've done. Thanks very much. Thank you.